oceans play a critical role in regulating our climate by absorbing almost half of the global carbon dioxide emissions. Without the oceans to buffer against climate change, life on Earth will be many times hotter and more unbearable compared to present-day conditions. Unfortunately, climate change is making our oceans warmer and more acidic. As a result, coral reefs are bleaching more frequently, about once every six years on average. Coral reefs are known to need at least 10 years to recover from bleaching effects. This means that coral reefs today barely have enough time to recover between bleaching events. At the same time, pollution is threatening the survival of important coral reefs and seagrass habitats. These are home to organisms that help to absorb carbon dioxide in coastal waters. In Singapore, these coastal habitats are our strongholds for carbon storage. And our research team is studying how we can better conserve and restore these important carbon sinks. First, we need to learn how resilient or vulnerable these organisms are in stressful environments, such as declines in water quality and climate change. We do this through field research and laboratory experiments with state-of-the-art aquaria facilities. Here, we subject corals and seagrasses to conditions simulating climate change and measure their health and survival over time. Our results show that corals generally do not fare too well in warm and acidic waters, but having healthy seagrass beds nearby might potentially help corals to survive better. Healthy oceans, healthy planet. Ecosystems such as coral reefs and seagrass meadows take up just a tiny part of the ocean yet perform important functions that keep our seas healthy. They are truly the lungs of the coastal ocean. With climate change, these ecosystems are degrading faster than they can recover naturally. We need to be more proactive in protecting and rejuvenating our oceans so that our children can inherit a more livable earth.